room layouts and seating designs for our meetings and conference sessions more conducive to learning is definitely a big current trend. You can jump on the bandwagon without having to break the bank. Here are my top five low or no cost ways to zhuzh up your meeting room designs. Number one, mix up your seating. I know it's not a new concept, but how you do it can be. Create a mixture of different kinds of seating and put them into groupings. Mix occasional chairs and side tables with ballroom chairs and cocktail tables. Of course, you can use dinner rounds, but break them up and move them out to the sides of the space so that conversational seating groupings can take the focus front and center. If you like, go ahead and include some soft seating like sofas and armchairs, but also consider pieces like harvest tables, boardroom tables, rounds of various sizes, counter height communal tables with stools, that sort of thing. If you don't have a budget for rentals, use everything you can get your hands on to lower your costs. Scavenge existing venue furnishings from foyers and pre-function spaces to see what you can incorporate. Think in terms of groupings and allow for attendees to perch. Studies have shown that people learn better when they can move around and let's face it, venue seating is rarely comfortable. If you do only one thing, make it this. Add some cruiser tables to the back of your room so that anyone who simply just needs to get out of those uncomfortable ballroom chairs can do so without disengaging from what's going on. Number two, give the whole thing a designer look. If you're able to add a mix of seating in your meeting space, don't forget to pull it all together by adding some low decorative accents to give the room a look and make it feel unique to your event. For example, Things like potted plants can be found dotted all over hotels and venues. Dust them off and use them to define and dress up your seating groupings. Just be sure they're low enough to see over. Pick up some inexpensive throw cushions for soft seating from the clearance section at any discount home accent store. You can customize them with iron-on logos or graphics. It's really easy to do and makes your design feel totally customized for your participants. While you're at it, why not grab some inexpensive little pots of Gerber daisies in a color that reflects your corporate or meeting logo and pop those on random tables. Blend occasional tables and console tables that you find in the pre-function spaces with standard ballroom chairs to create more intimate or interesting groupings. You'll be thrilled at what you can find, but do get permission to use the items you wish to borrow and treat them respectfully as if they were your own. Number three, stay connected. Your meeting participants shouldn't have to scour the room for a wall plug or sit off to the side while their device charges or even worse, leave the room, especially if we're incorporating the use of smart devices into our meeting content these days. It's easy to add charging hubs to your seating groupings. This can be achieved very simply and affordably. You can run charging cables for iOS and Android smart devices from existing wall power right to your occasional tables. Make sure the outlets are working and that everything is safely taped down and secured. Or you can invest in some affordable cordless charging models, widely available, and pop them on any tables in the room. Of course, Wi-Fi throughout must be available and complimentary. This really should go without saying, but I'm saying it anyway. Number four, remove barriers. Get rid of those panel tables, podiums, talk show desks, classroom style seating, anything you can that creates a barrier. Really give some thought to what you truly need and how you can execute your meeting without putting some of these physical barriers up. Create as much intimacy as possible between everyone in the room, not just presenters to audience, but audience to audience. Think about things like catch box for Q&A, so participants don't have to physically leave their space to ask a question, or for an even more interactive experience, use social media, your website, or your event app to allow participants to communicate to each other and to your presenters in real time. Number five, reinvent the coffee break. Here's an idea. Why not relocate the beverage stations you would normally restrict to coffee breaks right into your meeting room? Open your doors a few minutes earlier so everyone can grab a coffee or a snack and leave the stations open during the session. This will allow participants to get up without disengaging from what's going on and will inject a convivial and welcoming atmosphere into your meeting room. You can take it one step further and ask your venue to present your beverages at stations designed more as bars rather than just set out on plain banquet tables. 
Develop a signature beverage to support the meeting. Why not a special opening plenary smoothie with a fun, catchy name? Or an annual general meeting coffee or tea blend? Be creative. Your formal break between sessions can then be spent networking, visiting booths, catching up on work, rather than standing in line for a coffee. Let's stop limiting ourselves and our participants to room setups that don't contribute positively to our experience. Stretch your thinking to create a better floor plan and setting for your sessions. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate your giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. We would also love to know what topics you'd like us to explore, so please leave your comments in the box below.